father worked at plantation. Uh, she gives birth to eight kids. Never use the point powder for door stopper now in your house because your tutu will probably fight you. <laughs> I live for my grandfather, my father, and me. I'm the last one. She come up to North Kohala and a lot of things. Ikumamai, welcome to Kamaaina Backroads, your multimedia guide to the very best of Hawaii Island. Brought to you by the Hawaii Island Visitors Bureau and the Imiloa Astronomy Center. This episode finds Hilo preparing for the Merry Monarch Hula Festival. We stopped by the event venue and found workers busily preparing for the coming event. Coming up, experience the nerve-wracking excitement of the recent You Say Tomato Recipe Contest sponsored by Hamakua Springs Country Farms. Then we head north of Hilo, first to the lovely village of Laupahoe Hoi, where we talk story with 72-year-old Kupuna Auntie Mona Malani. She even takes us to go look for a pihi. Finally, you'll love the Waipio Wayside Bed and Breakfast, just down the road from Waipio Valley. And please, whenever you see this groovy yellow PC icon, it means there's more details on the story online at KamaianaBackroads.com. So log on and get the full deal. All of this and so much more in this half hour. Come, we go. The fun begins now. Remember this spot? Dig out your best tomato recipes and possibly win a $355 Foodland gift certificate from the Food Safety Certified Hamakua Springs Country Farms. Well, recipes were received and the folks at Hamakua Springs Country Farms got together with Hawaii Community College's Culinary Arts Program and put together our own sort of Top Chef event where students prepared the recipes received. Such an exciting time. Richard Ha explains Hamakua Springs' interest in working with the chefs in making. Well, about three or four years ago, when we first started into diversifying into hydroponic, we talked to Chef Alan uh, Okuda and told him that we wanted to work with the uh, community college students somewhere. But at that time, we only had about a few melons, three or four melons, so I wasn't sure if he knew, if I got to explain to him what, what we were thinking. But later on, as we got more production and stuff like that, so now we can uh, supply him with things and, and so we decided to do this uh, tomato recipe contest. Today Hamakua Springs has evolved significantly, yet remains a family-owned company committed to its community. Chef Alan Okuda heads HCC's culinary program. What we did today was we gathered uh, both first and second year classes and with the number of entries that we have, we divided into two people per team. There'll be a first year student and a second year student to give them a chance to work with them. The here. students have been at it since early morning and the tension is mounting. What is that? Crunchy lomi, Crunchy lomi salmon. And what do you think? He's gonna win? He's gonna uh, win? He's gonna win? Hopefully. Hopefully. Why do you think he's gonna win? Give it does. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes good. And yet, you got local ingredients. Yeah, local ingredients. Oh, man. Salmon, tomatoes, pepinola shoots, pepinola fruit. Right on. Okay. There's two types of uh, cheese in there mozzarella and uh, cheddar. And then what we have is uh, parsley. It's almost like a pesto consistency on the bottom of the pie and then in between afterwards. And uh, we have green onions and uh, what else? Did you help? Yes. <laughs> oh, are you so quiet? What did you do? What was your What was your role? Well, she, she, she did quite a bit. She, yeah. How do you think this is going to go? No, it's a winner. <laughs> now, is that because you guys made it, or because you think it's a winner? Doesn't it, Chad? What are we looking at? What do you guys make? Corn and tomato salad with no balsamic and olive oil dressing. Corn, tomato salad. Olives and Maui sweet onions. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Good. 
How do you think the judges will like it? Hopefully they like raw corn. They didn't cook the corn, this corn is raw. Is that bad? When it's like this, it's more starchy than sugary, you know, the uh -huh. corn. Uh -huh. So it has a starchy flavor to it. Not a corn? Yeah. Yeah? What's, what's, what's the good part about it? What do you think will stand out to them? I think the balsamic dressing. Yeah, it's always good. Of course, it's always good. Yeah. Cool. Well, you think you're going to win? You're going to win? Of course you're going to win. You're going to win. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> All right, good luck. So it's just stuffed with? Stuffed with uh, basil leaf, uh, tomato, goat cheese. Oh, is this, Finally, Hamako Springs Richard Ha brings the tension to an end with the announcement of the winning recipes. Grand prize winner is a tomato chutney. is the crunchy lomi salmon of the salad. Grand prize is Hamakua style tomato pie. And the grand prize winner for all, all categories is the Hamakua style tomato pie. So what do you think, Winnie, winners? Feels good? The, the person who owned this recipe would feel us the same way as we do. <laughs> At the Big Island's Hamako Springs Country Farms, first and foremost, we're a family-run business. Taste, sustainability, and food safety are among the most important things to us. No wonder Hawaii's top culinary masters, like renowned chef Alan Wong, insist on family-grown produce from Hamakua Springs Country Farms. From tasty bananas to delectable tomatoes, farm fresh lettuce and watercress, look for the Hamakua Springs Country Farms label at your grocer. Online at hamakuasprings.com. Hawaii's Big Island is calling, and one of the best ways to explore this land of aloha, up close and personal, is on a guided nature adventure with Hawaii Forest and Trail. Explore the rainforest of Hamakua, Come face to face with majestic Mauna Kea. Connect with places that have fascinated people for centuries. Celebrate Hawaii Island and come away changed. Hawaii Forest at Trail. Online at hawaii-forest.com. Now this is cool, free Aloha Hilo courtesy shuttle bus service during Merry Monarch. 
The buses are making a sort of a loop thing, starting at the Banyan Drive area where you'll find the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel and the Naniloa Volcanoes Resort. The shuttle will head south from here, crossing Kamehameha Avenue to its first stop at the Afuk Chinen Civic Auditorium, where the most amazing craft fair, food, and oh so much more can be found. It's also the stop to get to the Edith Kanaka Ole Multipurpose Stadium, where the competition takes place. We stopped by to check things out and found workers busily getting things ready. Next, the shuttle takes you a little further south to the University of Hawaii in Hilo, the pride of this close-knit community. This is the only place on the earth where you'll find computer science students placing in the top 6th percentile of national computer science exams, studying alongside Hawaiian study students, working on their way toward the only master's degree in an indigenous language program offered in the nation. You go, UH Hilo! From here, the free Aloha Hilo Courtesy Shuttle will take you on a bit of a residential traipse up to Ainako and then back north on Komohana to the University Park of Science and Technology where you'll be amazed at the sparkling new Imiloa Astronomy Center. The $28 million, 40,000 square foot facility overlooking picturesque Hilo Bay is unique inside and out. The center's three titanium-clad cones with its bold radiance is already a landmark with the local community. After your visit to Imiloa, jump back onto the shuttle and you'll be headed further north toward Hilo's downtown, a place seemingly unaffected by modern-day changes found elsewhere. Soak in the gentler, slower pace and explore the many shops, attractions, people watching, and one of the best farmers markets around. Do make a point of visiting the Tsunami Museum of the Pacific, the festival honoring King Kalakaua at Kalakaua Park, and the nationally accredited Lyman Museum, showcasing the natural and cultural history of Hawaii in its exhibit halls and its 1839 historic missionary home. Hilo is waiting for you with shuttle bus transportation throughout our charming city. Manawahi. Too good, no? Now, it's our pleasure to introduce beloved kupuna Antimona Malani, a 72-year-old Laupahoehoe native who we met at the 50s cafe. Check this place out. And then we followed up the road, then way down Makai, to the place where she was born and raised, Laupahoehoe Point. I was born here in 1929, November 7, 1929. And I'm still here yet. Uh, I grew up right in this town, this Lapoyoi Valley. I grew right close to the ocean. I can go and get things for my, you know, family to eat. And, uh, and whatever I have, I share, yeah, with my neighbors. And then we always try to get together and sing around, you know? It might be in a park, but we bring our instrument and we sing and we enjoy. <laughs> we were only supposed to be talking, <laughs> not singing. I, I love to sing. Hello, hello. Yeah. Well, you know, we used to pound because we have the board to pound. But now, you know, taking care of the taro, it's hard nowadays, because we have a lot to look forward to, going, going, you know, because we get car now. You know, we're not home. Before we stay home, we cannot go. So we can go outside, plant beans, plant onion. So when you like, uh, you go outside, couple, I, yeah, so we didn't go hungry, yeah. So our life, you know, was well taken care. Food from the ocean, and then food from the mountain, yeah. What else besides Opoa? Uh, we had opihi, uh, kupe, a crab. You can go touch, I go touch too. 
so we can get food. Well, different kind. You, you can go with the, the bamboo, but that's slow. For fish? For the crab, the arm. Oh, the string? Yeah, the eye. You catch the eye. That's too slow. Me, I like fast kind, you know, move. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I move like that. But, you move like the oh, I'm out there yourself. <laughs> yeah, you got to be fast. If you milly milly, the thing fall down. Ah, uh, you lose them. Yeah. So you gotta be quick. Yeah, yeah. So that time we were young, we can do that, you know. But now we all had to stand on the rock, not steady like before. Yeah. Is 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 the uh, is he better here than it is than on that side? Yeah. Yeah. Because of our uh, break, uh, the water, we have a lot of waterfalls. Yeah. So the water over here, the, the water is not salty because of that the waterfall all coming down. And so the opihi is only. So the is better not, the Well, mix, you know, it's yeah. mixed. Even the fish over here tastes better. The other places, it's salty. Yeah, like Kalapana side, no more gulch water. We can dilute, you know. Yeah. Anything you dilute, things like that, uh, makes it or no. But this, uh, I don't know, that side different. And uh, I, I taste the upihi from that side, a uh, little bit more salty. Yeah. But I was, you from the ocean to the mount, it's good. Still yeah. Good. Still yeah? Good now. Yeah? Yeah. Only you. But you know go yeah. Well, if I like, I go slow. When's the last time you went? Oh, that's long. Long time? Yeah. Yeah. How far is it up there? Right there. Right there? Yeah, right can, on. Can you point them out to me? Hey, I can take you and you go get them. And just like that, Auntie leads the way out to the water's edge. Off went her slippers, bounding over slippery rocks with the ease of someone who's done it all of her life. shop in Hilo that features independent brands and creative board labels. Um, we have special limited edition pieces from a bunch of local brands as well as some bigger brands, shoe brands. Ethnic to me, yeah. whenever you say the word ethnic it usually refers to people that can call back on their background, the people that can call back on their roots, where they came from, their origin, and um, I think that's really common in Hawaii. Like, whenever you ask somebody what their ethnic background is here, they know exactly where they came from. Tell me about your, your mother's family's influence on what you do today. Um, I think that it offers a backing. Well, okay, my mom's not Lani Kanapa'ole, for the people that don't know. She's a kumuhula of Halao Kikuhi, um, well-traveled. I also dance for Halao Kikuhi. I've been dancing for about 12 years now. Um, been everywhere from Greece to Japan and everything in between. Um, and basically, 
we go out and do shows like Hola Mai Pele and also we practice the culture we're practitioners um, we all we make our own costumes make our own lace and stuff like that but I think that that same type of belief system goes into my everyday life especially for ethnic about knowing your background and knowing how to move forward by knowing what's behind you mm -hmm. right now a line wall is behind me but you know what I mean I'll shop in front of me <laughs> Big Island Delights, Hawaii's favorite cookies, party mix, and local gifts. Online at BigIslandDelights.com. We turned off of Highway 19 toward Laupahoehoe Point, where we did a little more exploring about this community with help from Laupahoehoe native and busy community leader, Lucille Chung. It was a very close community. Everybody knew everybody else. They knew everybody's business too, which to now the younger generation, they find that very ni'ele, yeah, that there are people in my business. but. When I was growing up, that was just how it was, and everybody raised, raised me. And you never, never thought of, well, it's not your business, I'm not your, I'm not your child, you know. We went to have, make poi every Saturday with our grandfather. It was the ohana getting together every Saturday morning without question, without um, reminders. Nine o'clock, we're all at Cuckoo's house. The aunties, the uncles, the cousins, and Cuckoo has the, hoa, the burlap bag on the cement floor with all the taro pile there, and we all sit around and peel. We peel it, and he would grind it. And we all go home with our pu'olo of poi for the week. And that was our staple, yeah. It was sad, scary, because the industry of this area was closing what was going to happen to our people. The scariest part was that housing belonged to the plantation. Where were all these people going to live? But through the efforts of 
our state representative, Dwight Takamini, government officials, community, union, everybody getting involved. They were able to keep their homes and purchase them from, from the company for a very nominal fee. Plantation communities like this one are evolving, finding new and different sources of economic growth. One thing is sure though, the mix of people, shops, and small businesses, and this sort of nouveau plantation culture, it all remains rooted in our Kama'aina way of life. The crew of Kama'aina Backroads travel the Big Island in comfort and style with their official rental vehicle from Advance Auto Incorporated, Kama'aina owned, Big Island based. Visit them online at autorentalshawaii.com. Techie 3 Design Studios offering a dynamic array of design services through web, print, and video. Visit them online at techie3.com. Every winter break, my family goes up to Mauna Kea to play in the snow. It's kind of a family tradition of ours. When you live on the Big Island, riding a boogie board down a snow-covered hill is a pretty cool thing. That's our Hawaii. That's our Hawaii, too. After more than 75 years of serving these islands, we're proud to say only one airline is Hawaiian. Next time you're in the North Shore, turn off the beaten path and visit the North Shore Soap Factory in the historic